So my parents sent me a bushel of apples. Sorry. They have a tree, they're really proud of it. It's super cute. They were proud of their bounty, so they sent me a huge amount of them. So I figured tis the season and the perfect time to show you guys how to make the perfect apple pie. First step, pie dough. And we're doing it in this. So into the bowl of your food processor, start with two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And when you're measuring, you want to use the back of a butter knife, like this. A tablespoon of sugar, a teaspoon of salt, and then just give that a pulse. We're going to do one cup or half a pound of unsalted cold butter. And chop them into medium cubes, add them to your flour mixture. You're going to pulse the butter until about the size of little peas. See how there's a bunch of little pieces of butter. Stop there. So we have a bowl of ice water. We're going to slowly add a tablespoon at a time until the dough just comes together. Make sure when you're getting the ice water out, you don't get any actual ice cubes into the dough. You're going to want to keep it as cold as possible during this whole process because as it cooks, the cold pieces of butter create steam, which allows your dough to rise, which makes it really, really flaky. Okay, we'll start with four tablespoons and see how that goes. Just a little bit more. You'll know it's right when the dough starts to pull away from the side of the bowls and sticks together. Don't worry if it's shaggy, it's totally fine. You just want it to come together. You don't want to overwork this. The more you warm it up, the less cold butter there is, the less flaky it is. I'm using a kitchen scale to divide this dough perfectly in half so we have even top and bottom crusts. If you don't have a kitchen scale, you can totally eyeball this. I would recommend getting one of these. So we have our two equal pie discs wrapped in plastic. We're gonna let it chill in the fridge for about an hour. While these are chilling, let's work on the filling. Wash, peel, cut, and core. Look how interesting the inside is. If your apples are a little bruised, don't worry about it, right? We're cooking it down anyways. It's gonna be covered in pastry and ice cream and caramel. Who cares? It's rustic, all right? Relax. After doing that for what felt like forever, we have our apples, so let's add the good stuff. Half a cup of dark brown sugar, salt, cinnamon, of course, quarter teaspoon of allspice, pure vanilla extract, two tablespoons of cornstarch. Add the tiniest bit of orange liqueur, just to kind of reinforce those fall flavors. Give it a little extra something. I'm gonna go back to our dough and roll those out. Generously flour your surface, flour your dough disc, and make sure you dust your rolling pin as well. Now the best trick to keep it from sticking is once you go one way, you're gonna wanna do a quarter turn. Quarter turn. It feels like it's starting to stick. Just make sure you're pushing more flour onto your space. Okay, now that's rolled out. A little bit bigger than our pie dish. The easiest way to transfer a dough, you're gonna take your rolling pin, roll it, really gently onto it, and then just unroll it back onto the tin. Kind of drop it down into the edges so it sits flush with your pie dish. I don't like to cook down my filling ahead of time. I feel like it breaks down the apples too much. So we're just gonna put these in raw and let's top it with the top dough. Make a quick egg wash with one egg and a splash of cream. We did egg wash all the way around the edge and now we're gonna take our prepped second dough and roll it on top. So you want to leave some overhang because we're going to tuck it under and crimp. But if there's a lot of overhang like this section, you can go ahead and just take some scissors and cut it. You want to leave about maybe an inch of dough. So now we have our tucked in edges for crimping. You want to think of it, these two knuckles and this knuckle, and you're kind of fitting the joint. You don't want to push too hard, just enough to mold the dough. I'm gonna take the same egg wash. I really wanna get into every little nook and cranny and mix a little sugar and cinnamon for the top. And don't be shy. And make sure you cut three little slits. And then we're gonna refrigerate this for about an hour because that's really gonna retain the shape of the crust. Place the chilled pie on a baking sheet and bake at 350 until golden brown. Pie's out of the oven. It's got the perfect golden brown. It's been cooling for several hours and I'm really excited to show you how it turned out. You cannot tell me that is not the most picture-perfect apple pie. My asshole cat ate a piece of the crust, so ignore that. It's perfect. The filling is staying in. The crusts are evenly cooked. I keep it classic, top it with some vanilla ice cream, but I went a little fancier, so I'm topping mine with salted caramel ice cream. Now the real test, let's taste it. Cheers. Mmm. When I tell you I'm gonna teach you how to make the perfect apple pie, it's gonna be perfect. And baby, this is perfect.